Yes, yes, peeps, welcome back to a brand new episode. Today is Sunday and the time has just gone half six. I've got my first order of the night picking up from Oaxaca. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be speaking about, is it worth signing up to deliver food as a side hustle? It is one of the most common questions that I get on my Instagram and also through emails. So that's something that I wanna talk about throughout today's episode. Hello. Yeah, good, thank you. Thank you so much. And as we have just started a new year, a lot of you watching this may have some sort of financial goals for the year of 2024, and you might be looking for a side hustle. So I started delivering back in September of 2019 because I didn't want to do overtime at my day job, and I didn't really want to get a second employment where I had set hours and I had to go to work. I signed up to deliver food and the first app that I signed up for was Uber Eats. And then a couple of months later, that is when I started this YouTube channel. Now, a lot of you will be watching this video and previous episodes and thinking of delivering food yourself or parcels or just having a second income in the gig economy. Now, there are a lot of changes coming into play from this year and next year from HMRC, and it all evolves around tax. So HMRC have instructed all of these companies like Deliveroo, Just Eat, Uber Eats, eBay, Fiverr, Etsy, any small, well, not even small, but all of these big companies where you can earn money on the side, they've instructed these companies to report all of the earnings that their users make throughout the financial year. To put it into a nutshell, you cannot avoid tax. And that's the whole purpose. That's what they're doing it for. It's not to benefit anyone. It's just to make sure that people doing this side hustle slash bit, bit of the thing on the side uh, are paying tax. That's all it is. Now, I've always said, and I always will say that this job is the perfect side hustle. You get to work when you want, you don't have no boss, technically. You can accept and decline any orders that you want. Yeah, it's just like total freedom. However, there are a lot of downsides. If you are looking to do this as a full-time job, and this is one of the reasons why I don't advise, is that one, if you're sick, you do not get paid. You don't get any paid holiday. You don't get any pension unless you have a private pension or you're happy with the state pension. If you are not happy with the wages, it's a lot of work and you have to get a lot of people together to change that company's mind on how they pay drivers. Now, it has happened in the past where people have signed up to unions and they have got a pay increase or some sort of compensation from these big companies. But for me, it's the perfect side hustle. I get to work when I want. Yes, I have to pay 20% tax on all of my earnings. And I'm not gonna talk about tax too much in this video because everyone's tax situation is different. But yeah, if you are thinking to get in, into this type of work, just be prepared to work long hours to put a lot of work in, even though it is like one of the lowest skilled jobs that you can possibly get right now, Delivering food is not hard. You literally go to the restaurant, pick it up and take it to the customer. There's not much more to it. For me, it is the perfect side hustle and I will forever have it as a side hustle. If you are thinking of doing this full time, all I can say is good luck to you. Uh, it's gonna be very tough uh, to make that kind of money, especially if you're living, living in London. If you're living in a little village somewhere, then yeah, you can live off of it. If you're living at home with mum, you don't have kids, you don't have a mortgage to pay, it's all happy days. But yeah, I just wanted to uh, speak about that to in today's episode because it is the most common question I get <laughs> on my Instagram uh, DMs and also via email. The whole tax thing, is that gonna make a difference to the situation and demand that there is right now? I think there will be, yes. I think there will be a big change because people will have to start paying their taxes and if they don't, it's kicking off fully. Um, it's gonna kick off, yeah. People are gonna get in a lot of trouble with HMRC. Let's uh, go and get this delivery done and uh, crack on with tonight's shift. It is fully kicking off tonight in London on a Sunday, as always. Oh, and I just wanted to add, if you wanna find out any information about 
becoming self-employed, all you have to do is head over to the uh, HMRC website. There's a bunch of information on there. And the reason why I don't talk about tax and things like that and becoming self-employed is because everyone's situation is different. I don't want to give advice on here that may get people into trouble with the tax man um, because I don't know what your situation is. In regards to myself, I have a full-time job. So all of my personal allowance, you only get one personal allowance, which is your tax-free allowance that you can earn um, before you start paying tax. And I believe it's £12,550 at the moment. So yeah, you only get one personal allowance. And then anything I earn, whether it be del doing deliveries or any, any jobs on Gopher, on Deliveroo, it's all taxed at 20%. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, research to do. I didn't know about becoming self-employed. As I say, I only became self-employed back in 2019. I do all my tax returns myself. I keep an Excel spreadsheet of my incomings and outgoings. And one of the things that I wanted to speak about is the second most common question, is how much money can I earn if I deliver Monday to Friday for 10 hours a day? Now, I simply don't know the answer to that question. And that is because I don't know your area. I don't know how you work as a person. I don't know what vehicle you're using. There's a lot of factors to consider when it comes to how much money can I earn? For example, on a on an e-bike or a moped in London, I'm gonna make more money than a person delivering in a car. It also depends on what app you're working on. So I hope that whole whole segment there clears it up. I'm sure you're sick of hearing me talking now because I've been talking for a good five, 10 minutes. Let's uh, get into tonight's delivery shift and I'll show you what it's like to be a delivery rider. one pound tip in this order as well which is very very kind of the customer that bike sounds horrendous hello thank you, very much. Thank you. could i get your delivery code please 32. 32 thank you for your tip as well thank you, thank you. hey and there's another one it's a double paying four pound 60 very very close restaurants as well yeah only running delivery tonight no just eat or uber eats because not worth it. Deliveroo is quite busy on a Friday, um, on a Friday, <laughs> on a Sunday night. And I work most Sunday nights if I'm not at my day job. Yeah, it's a good time to get out and do deliveries. Let's get over to the next pickup. All right, what am I picking up from Morley's? One apple pie, three barbecue wings, three spicy wings and some large fries. Oh, I ordered that food and no drink. I have to have a drink with my food. Honestly, I can't do it. I can't have food and have no drink. Right, this road is a bit chaotic. Ah, it looks like there's going to be a chance to cross. What's going on, bro? You all right? <laughs> Legend. F me, it's bright in there. Oh, what's going on? You all right? Deliveroo, yeah. I just started. I know the fees are very low now. 66, you rejected. <laughs> So that guy has rejected 67 orders today. 67, wow. Must be paying bad. Thanks. Oh, almost 10 minutes for the, to pick up that order. 10 bloody minutes. See, now that's where it goes back to how much money can I earn in X amount of time? Now I know that restaurant is taking long to get orders out into to delivery riders. I will avoid that place now for the rest of the evening. And the reason being is that I can pick up from other restaurants that are gonna be a lot more faster and in turn, I make more money. And in this job, time is money. Just like it's taken me a bloody long time to cross this road. Come on. All right, now on to this Chinese takeaway pickup, which looks like it's ready. Beautiful. Thank you. All right, this first one is 0.3 miles away. It's only gonna take me four minutes to get there.
What's in the way? Oh. <laughs> Da, 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 that one's yours. Can I get your delivery code, please? Yeah, 45. 45. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. Got to be quick. Can't be no slow coach. Not in this delivery game. Okay, the next one is how far? One minute away. So close. Is that flat five? Uh, yeah. yeah, nice one. Can I get your delivery code? Nice one. Thank you, man. Have a good one. It is 20 past seven now. Now, uh, what's this here? Two different pickups and two different drop-offs. £8.14. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, I haven't got time. I have not got time for people like this. There's no communication either with the riders. And the thing is, the second customer is going to be waiting longer. The longer I wait here, the longer the second customer is going to be waiting. So I'd rather lose out on two pound than piss off my customer at the end of the day. At least when you turn up to a restaurant, it's best to be told, oh yeah, it's going to be a five minute wait or a 10 minute wait. Okay, no problem. But it's when you arrive, you show your number and they just look at you like you're an alien. And watch, I'll go over to this restaurant now and I guarantee you, I guarantee you 100 million percent the order will be ready. Oh look, there's a double. So I've got two orders to pick up. I guarantee both of them are ready. Hello, I got a double. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. See, I told you, no messing around. Yo bro, do you have a bag? No. Do you want a bag? I got a bag, a spare one. Yeah, yeah, get, um, do you want to come here? Come here with me. No worries. Can't be delivering food with no bag. Yes, I knew I was going to find a rider with no delivery bag. Here I go. It's the same as this one. No worries, bro. You'll get more tips if you use this one. <laughs> and as much as I hate delivery riders like that, you don't know what his situation is. He might not have enough money to buy a thermal bag. His thermal bag might have been robbed. There's multiple things to why he's not delivering with a thermal bag but i'm not here to judge i'm just here to help help out where i can always try to be kind to others and don't ever do it for clout i'm doing it from the kindness of my own heart <laughs> hello 16, 16 yeah? yeah thank you thank Cheers. Delivery complete. Now we're heading over to the next drop off. It is, yeah, it's really close. Four minutes, 0.8 miles. Pow. Oh, wow, I've got a lot more room in here now. I've got rid of that bag. One seven. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. I've been delivering for just over an hour now, an hour and 15 minutes. Let's see how much money I've made so far. £17.81. And that is for five deliveries. That's not too bad, you know? All right, time for a little pit stop. Grab myself a Red Bull, because you legends are still buying me Red Bulls. All good? Perfect, thank you. Bye-bye. All right, there's a double order, £6.10. Sainsbury's and an Indian takeaway. Hello. Thank you. Cheers. All right, got both of those orders now. Literally right opposite each other. And the first one that I'm going to drop off is this takeaway here. And that takeaway over there smells so good. All right, and this one is only three minutes away, one mile exactly. Ah, I'm going the wrong way. U-turn. Time for my CBT days. Look at that perfect U-turn. Talking of CBTs, if you are on the market or you've ever thought about doing your CBT, you have the chance to win a new NQI GT Pro Cargo, which is one of these electric mopeds that I'm sitting on. A CBT, which is going to be paid by myself. So it will help you to get onto the road with your provisional license. And you're going to get a motorcycle helmet and a top box, the same top box that I'm using in this video so head over to the website today to grab your ticket you've got until the 27th of january and the live draw is going to take place on my instagram on the 27th at 8 p.m 
Hello, you're yeah, right. That's your drink. Thank you. Can I get your 87? Nice one. Thank you. Cheers. Lift is making some wild noises. Okay, the next one doesn't look far. Looks like it's actually on this road. 0.2 miles away. All right, you're right. Cheers. Can I get your delivery code? Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. All right, and that's that double order done. There's another one, £4.52. Cream's Cafe, dessert restaurant, 1.1 miles away. And the thing is, I haven't been declining a lot of orders. There's been a few here and there that are paying like £2 to go really, really far, which is, or £2.90, which is the minimum. But I'm not, I'm not accepting those orders, even though they're nice and quick to pick up. The distance to the customer is just way too far. I'm not sure what time I'm gonna finish tonight. Probably around half nine, 10 o'clock. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get out on this Sunday evening because I try to work as many Sundays as possible um, when I'm not at my day job. But I haven't been out without the GoPro in a very long time. So I think I'm gonna start doing some delivery shifts without the GoPro. I mean, I have got used to it a lot now. Sounds weird, but I like talking to myself whilst I'm riding around. But yeah, in between going to customers, I do listen to music. And talking of music, I haven't sorted out the Spotify playlist. The thing is, I use YouTube music. I don't use Spotify. So um, I'm going to have to make that change over to Spotify very soon. So yeah, by the time this video is out, I should have a playlist and uh, you'll find it in the, the, in the, the link, <laughs> in the link in the description down below this video. All right, let me see what I'm picking up. Some crepes and a triple treat cookie dough thank you all right this one's 1.9 miles away quite a far one and it's going to take me eight minutes to get there there is literally zero traffic on the road tonight kicking off started raining hello 44, yeah? nice one thank you pretty much the whole of london is showing not busy at the moment and that is not a good thing all right there's another order five pound 81 picking up from a restaurant called gunpowder don't think i've ever picked up from there before what the hell is that he's got a whole tv in his top box oh that is jokes i'd love to know how much it weighs all right so i had to park the bike up here there's literally nowhere to park next to Tower Bridge. Let's take a walk over to the restaurant. Have I picked up from here before? I don't think I have. Very familiar with uh, Rosa's tie. Uh, uh, 8098. Oh, he's just come down with a whole load of food. Fingers crossed one of them bags is my order. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Bloody hell. What a long wait. Nearly 10 minutes for that one. And I'm going three miles, which is going to take me 12 minutes to deliver. So almost the same time it took for me to wait and pick up this order is how long it's going to take me to deliver it. To be honest though, the food looks amazing in there. Ah, <gasps> fell over. Did it leak? Oh, please don't say it leaked. Oh no, it didn't. Hello. You're welcome. 60, thank you. All right, and that is the end of the shift. Now let's see how much money I've made delivering for exactly three hours. And in total, 34 pound and 24 pence. It has been a very good shift. This is a great little side hustle. If you are looking for a side hustle, I would recommend becoming a food delivery rider. You can do it on your e-bike or you can get an electric moped or a normal moped, do it in your car. I hope the information that I gave you at the beginning of this video helps. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one, people. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you've enjoyed watching and subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I look forward to bringing you another video very soon. Take care, people. Peace.